Well, finally tonight, abortion remains in the news in the United States amid the overturning of Roe versus Wade and pushback from the White House. But the fight for the unborn is also taking place in Europe. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser talks to the president of Italy's March for Life. You are one of the leading pro-life advocates here in Rome, here in Italy as well, and uh, you have been organizing the March for Life for more than a decade now. How do you perceive the situation of the pro-life movement and the right to life, especially for the unborn here in Italy? Well, yes, it has been uh, uh, an interesting uh, moment in the last 10 years because uh, um, from uh, the very beginning when our, our law on abortion was voted in 1978, um, many things have changed, in, I would say, in the last period because for more than 30 years, um, nothing has really has been done on the public square, on the public opinion, on the Italian public opinion. Um, but now, um, having um, seen, uh, because when we started the March for Life, uh, it, the decision was uh, uh, taken after seeing how uh, the, the great result that had the American March for Life. So with the March for Life, in fact, the situation in Italy has changed and the public opinion is, is now aware of what abortion is and the numbers that we have, because we have more than 6 million uh, uh, babies killed in Italy in the, in the 40 years that we had abortion. And, and so now people are reacting and especially young people are reacting. And uh, how, do you, how do you see the role of the Vatican when it comes to the pro-life movement? Well, I would say that uh, uh, all the popes that we had uh, have been very clear on abortion. Um, of course, we, we have to remember uh, uh, the Evangelium Vitae with uh, uh, John Paul II. Uh, but nevertheless, also the last uh, uh, popes, uh, Benedict XVI and Pope Francis, have been very clear on abortion and, and very strong statements against abortion. So uh, um, I think that on this side, uh, uh, the, the Vatican has been very clear. Um, there is, uh, I would say, perhaps less reaction uh, from the bishop's side, so on the Italian bishops' conference. We have a few exceptions, but, uh, um, but normally they, they don't like to speak very much, not, I would say, not against abortion in itself, but against the law, which is, of course, for us Italians, very important because we have to focus against the law, which is something that kills the babies. And Italy is usually considered as a family-friendly country. However, it has the, one of the lowest birth rates here in Europe. Do you see a change there? Do you see maybe life is being more welcome in the future? Well, um, this is a long-term issue, I think. Um, it, it's true that Italy has changed so much in a century because if we think that at the beginning of the uh, 20th century um, every woman had uh, um, uh, five children uh, as average uh, and now we are the last numbers were 1.25 not, not even 1.3 so I think it's one of the less uh, uh, um, uh, in, it, in, in Europe so even even less than, than, than Spain so, um, so I think this is uh, is a real drama, uh, and we, of course, uh, think that we should very much focus on defense of the family, and especially on our politicians in order to help families. Uh, Italy loves families; it's based on families. So uh, there will be a turning point, but we need uh, a lot of work to do. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.